Greetings, everyone. This is Saint Enix, tweaking my microphone a little bit so you can hear me better. I'm showing you an update on my new rig. I've got the Phenom, or Phenom 2 X6 1045T. I'm not sure why it's loading up 1040T here because it's stock clocks at 2.7, which is the 245. But anyway, uh, I'm showing you what's possible with air overclocking at about a hundred dollar processor to cooler ratio. Okay, this is our hundred dollar overclocked AMD rig. It does require a semi-decent motherboard, but usually because AM4 is going to be coming out with Ryzen, you can pick those up for a pretty decent price. As you can see, my core clocks are jumping up to four gig on the boost. I do have boost enabled. I do have my V core jumped to 3.825 or 1.3825. Uh, I found that it down clocks from there about half a volt. Uh, I could not get it to stay stable at three and a half. I had to bump it up to 3. Point, or 1.375, and then it was still kind of sketchy. So I took it up a couple more notches. It's pretty comfortable around 4, 1.4 volts, but I don't like the temperatures. They jump up into the mid 50s while I'm doing prime. And with this voltage, it stays stable, and I can keep my prime numbers, prime 95 temp numbers, running small FFT just a hair over 50, 51, 52. Um, as of now, it's running idle at 39 40 degrees Celsius, but the fan's not even running at full speed. I have a push pull set up with a cryo rig H7. The cryo rig H7, I cannot stress this enough, is a very awesome CPU cooler. It is offset so it doesn't block off your first slot of RAM. It fits, it's, it's smaller, shorter, so it fits in a lot more types of cases, and the clip configuration for putting on the extra fan is super easy uh, it's, a child can do it it's it's a, a much easier install than your hypo or Hy hyper evo 212s um, they're also you can catch them on sale around the same exact price give or take a couple bucks but as you can see my cores are jumping all over the place they're down clocking to a 4 multiplier when it's not used up to a 13.5 for standard use and then 15 as opposed to 16 for the boost clock which gives me an even 4 gig on my boost and a 3.6 on my standard overclock um, let's just go ahead and run the CPU test let's see how bad the difference is because we got just a hair over 6000 see how bad the difference is while we record the video I want to see I want to see how bad it is if it drops into like the 5500s. As you can see, all our all our cores are running at 3.6 except for the occasional down clock of a core or two. Usually when it down clocks one or two cores, it's up clocking one at least one core. Uh, but the V core is stable between 1.332 and 1.368 which is actually really really low. I've heard of people having to push almost four, four and a half volts through this thing to get it up over 3500. We're slowly completing the CPU mark test which means yeah this uh, this high encoding is and the <laughs> in OBS is gonna fuck our scores up. Watch I pull like a 5k. But I'm also really really happy with my RX 474 gig. Uh, it's an XFX the hard swap fan edition. Triple X edition. And it yep I lost a 260 or well 160 points running OBS in the background. Which is interesting. But that's not that bad. That really isn't that bad. That still puts me up over, you know, the average uh, while running a video capture encoding program. So there's my guide on how to get yourself 
a 3.6 gig daily driver with a boost clock to 4 gig with some slight tweaks. I got my uh, hyper transport link a little shy of stock. Same thing with my Northbridge frequency and my RAM is down clocked 1600 megahertz down clocked to like 14, 1425. Uh, just because if I bump it one more uh, multiplier, then it goes to like 1778 and becomes unstable. So, this is some like bargain basement enthusiast rig on a budget type stuff for you guys. If you're looking to see more, I'm planning on making some videos with this rig now with uh, starting to start streaming, doing all kinds of crazy different things. So stay tuned. And if you guys have your own Phenom X2s, post your overclocks and, and your bus speed setups and your uh, timings for your RAM. You know, I'd like to see what other people are doing. So thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, hit the like button and if you subscribe, I would really appreciate it and you will get more content as soon as it's uploaded. Appreciate it everyone. Take it easy.